hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it's on tutorial in this video we are discuss about assignment one solution of effective writing here you can see that the first question is the essential of effective writing include brevity coherence clarity second is brevity disorder style third is organization ambiguity unity fourth is lengthy order and style so the explanation of question number first is here Essential of effective writing is organization, correctness, language and style, unity, coherence and order, clarity, brevity. So the correct answer is question number first is option number A. Question number second, which among the following are the feature of written communication? First, nonverbal call clue are used. Second, could be presented in printed format. Third. Convenient to be kept as record for faster than the oral communication. So the explanation of question number second is here. Key difference between oral and written communication. The communication mode which user written your printed text for exchanging the information is known as written communication. And proper record are available in written communication. So the correct answer is question number second is option number B. Printed format and record is convenient question number third dash language should be used for effective writing first prompts second direct third unscrupulous fourth sophisticated so the explanation of question number third is here language play a vital role in conveying an information effectively unscrupulous use of language so the correct answer is question number third is option number C. Question number fourth. Dash is the format of uncertainty in a message. First noise, second amplify, third entropy, fourth proximity. So the explanation of question number four is here. Entropy is the amount of uncertainty in a message. So the correct answer is question number four is option number C. Question number five. Choose an option that presents the following sentence in a softer tone instead of panicking every time. Could you just still? Please, first option is please calm down and try not to panic. Third, will you hold on your nerve? Third, do not, do not make a scene when someone approaches you. Fourth, stop panicking and stay still. So the correct answer is question number 5 is option number D. Question number 6. Dash should be followed in effective writing. First thumb rule, second standard grammatical rule, judicial law, and none of the above. So the explanation of question number six is here. Follow a standard grammatical rule. So the correct answer is question number six is option number B. Question number seven. Dash not be avoided in a word work of effective writing. First gender wise, second culture wise, fourth third reader feeling, fourth both A and B. So the explanation of question number seven is here. Avoid gender, culture, or any other bias. So the correct answer is question number seven is option number C. Question number eight. The punctuation mark called colon is used when first option is after abbreviation and designation, second to indicate two independent construction joined without a conjunction, third to indicate a further explanation for to conclude the first of item. So the explanation of question number eight is here. Colon is used to indicate further explanation. So the correct answer is question number 8 is option number C. Question number 9. Select the correct sentence. Neither the investor nor the student was present. Second, either the dancer or the background singer are running late. Third, either coach or nor the neither coach nor the player admit to the cheating, and neither the boss nor the employee are going to buy. So the correct answer is question number 9 is option number C. But I have some doubt, so I have not ticked the option number C. Question number 10. Which among the following do not require capitalization? First, course name. Second, when destination are not proper to the title. And option C. Any title preceding a name. Fourth, first word in a sentence. So the explanation of question number 10 is here. Capitalization is the capitali capitalize the first word. So the correct answer is question number 10 is option number D. First word in a sentence. 
थैंक यू गाइज वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट असाइनमेंट